So today, we are drawing translations. Now in math, translation is a fancy way of saying slide. So what we're doing is we're taking shapes on a coordinate grid and sliding them. For example, draw the image of triangle ABC after a translation of four units up and five units right. So what it's asking us to do is take this triangle and slide it four units up and five to the right. So to do that, all we're gonna do is just take each of the corners of the triangle, the vertices, and move them four up and five right. So for example, triangle A, up four, one, two, three, four, five right, one, two, three, four, five. And this new point is what we call A prime. That little prime symbol represents the fact that it's not the original A, it's the new A after we've translated it, okay? Same with B. We're gonna go up four, one, two, three, four, and write five. One, two, three, four, five. There's our B prime. And then for C, up four, one, two, three, four, write five. One, two, three, four, five. C prime. And when I connect up the vertices, there will be my translated triangle. So you'll notice all it is is the exact same triangle just slid over. And I can use this transparency to show you the triangles will be exactly the same size and the same shape. In other words, they are congruent triangles. All right? So when it asks these next questions, we can keep that in mind. If the length of AB, so this segment right here, this segment is 6.1 units long, how long is the length of segment A prime B prime? That's this segment right here. Well, since we know these are congruent triangles, if this length here is 6.1, this one here also has to be 6.1 because they're the same length. Remember, this side right here is the exact same length as this side over here of this triangle, okay? Similarly, if the measure of angle C, so that's this angle right here, is 50 degrees, what's the measure of angle C prime? That's this angle right here. And again, these are congruent triangles, so this angle here should be the exact same as this angle right there, so it should also be 50 degrees, because remember, this angle here is exactly the same as this angle right there. Okay, so knowing that the triangles are congruent because you just slid it over helps you answer these two questions pretty easily. All right, now the last thing we're going to do here is the exact opposite. This time, I give you the original shape and a translated shape, and we're going to describe the translation. So it says describe the translation that maps triangle DEF onto triangle D prime, E prime, F prime. In other words, how does this get here using translations? Now, the first thing you have to pay attention to is the fact that one of these points says D, the other one says D prime. So that's how you know which one we started with. So we're starting with D and we're sliding it over to D prime, okay? So all we have to do is count how far and in what direction we went. So from D to D prime, notice it's going to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and down one, two. So it went nine left, down two. And it shouldn't matter which vertex of this triangle we pick, they should all be the same. So for E, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and down two. For F, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and down two, one, two. So it doesn't matter which ones you pick. Every single point is translate, translated nine units left and two units down. And notice, we have to give the distance and the direction to describe the translation, all right? So, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.